All right, recently I've gotten a couple of questions from people about how to use symbiotes versus as guardians. And so I've been trying the last week to find a couple of really good matchups to illustrate this fight and how you can do it really two different ways. Um, one is just going straight up with symbiotes, which uh, I did today against our uh, Pants of Hulk adversary <laughs> in war this afternoon. And uh, this one I thought it went pretty well to kind of show how to really uh, manipulate the fight to work in your advantage with the symbiotes. So let me pull that up here and give you an idea what we're looking at. So basically what I usually do is bring Shuri with them and you pretty much have to bring Shuri uh, with with the symbiotes if you're going to uh, just go straight in without any sacrifice or anything uh, if they haven't been hit yet you're going to get hit with the loki alt which is likely going to land its taunt which means you and defense down which means you're going to have hella follow-up with the uh alt which will give the defense down and spread and potentially have heal block as well if greg gets a turn and uh gets to drop that heal block on the same character so Basically, I'm punching across here with this team, but the real trick is having a really high Symbiote Spider-Man and Carnage. Those two guys are what really power this team. Venom helps, but he's not nearly as important as Carnage and Symbiote. Um, and so here I put it in 2x to start this fight because I really wanted you to be able to see what's going on. I'm going to pause it here as we need to to walk through this. So look, they hit Venom. Now look, we got the defense down and we got the taunt on him, right? But we got the defense up from Shuri, which is going to make this a little bit more survivable for everybody. And hopefully um, a little bit more resisting or get a little bit more resistance. Now here's the thing. Shuri was also called to attack him and landed the heal block on him. And then the Greg hit it, so he would have had the heal block anyway. And this is kind of the trick that I've seen where I think this is this is pretty awesome, right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of that taunt off of Venom. And the reason why is because I don't want Hela to be forced to hit him. I want her to have to pick him one out of five chance from the team. So first thing I do is I take Carnage and just basic down a Greg. Now Greg is relatively easy to kill. He usually doesn't take more than one hit from most characters. Um, but you can see there, they still didn't get a turn. My guys got a whole bunch of turn meter there because they killed a character and they have that symbiote pa passive, right? So now I'm going to take this uh, Greg and hit him with my symbiote Spider-Man. And notice the turn meter goes down a little bit for us, but it goes up enough from the symbiote passive that Venom gets a turn. Now Venom getting the turn here is crucial because Hela still hasn't taken her first turn. So what's happening here is we're manipulating turn meter by killing enemies, which Greg counts, um, and getting that turn meter bumped up while um, uh, getting to another turn for Venom before Hela goes so we get rid of the taunt. Because the taunt is only one turn. So that's all we need. Now the next thing I do is I put heal block on Hela and I also happen to get it on Thor here, which is really, really important because those are the two top priorities. Um, it's really hard to kill Loki because he's going to stealth before you can kill him. You're generally not going to one-shot him unless you get rid of his defense up. And you, you know, usually he's going to stealth by then anyway. Um, so what I really like to do is get that heal block on both Hela and Thor if they're you know within a uh, spot of each other. And that way when they go stealth, they aren't going to heal from the Greg, Gregs that we kill. Um, so that's the that's the hard thing about fighting this team is if you let the Gregs just run away with it and you can see here I got very unlucky <laughs> um, So she chose venom and spread the defense down and the heal blocks to some of them And so that makes this really really tough. Okay, so this is looking bad uh, We still got our defense up. We lost venom who's one of the crucial guys, but that's okay He's not as important as carnage and symbiote spider-man, but uh, we're stuck on sif right now because she's taunting and because I killed all those Gregs earlier, Thor got a whole bunch of charge. So he's using his passive attack right now. Almost knocks off Shuri and Spider-Man regular. Um, and now we've got the uh, Symbiote alt ready. So we're going to go ahead and use that. we got to slow him down. And this is where it gets really tricky. Now we've got slow on every one of them. And what we can do here 
is go ahead and hit people and kill Gregs. And now look, I get 30% speed bar for that. They're going to go slower, so they aren't really gonna get a turn anytime soon. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and extend all these debuffs on these two who are my primary targets. Throw heal block on Loki. Uh, the more heal blocks you can get out there, the better, because it just means that they won't heal from the Greg kills. Um, but you can see here, uh, notice I went with the Carnage special there. And the reason why is it does splash damage. Even though there weren't any debuffs on that character, it still does splash damage to everybody adjacent. And we want to keep laying it on Thor and Hela, even though we can't directly target them. Okay? So now, notice that was the second Thor passive. I've killed so many Gregs and hit them so many times that Thor has done a second passive hammer smash. And uh, we're still going. All right? So here, Symbiote takes out a, two Lokis, so they get double turn meters for that, right? The bonuses. And now we're going to hit another Greg. Um, and we get more turn meter. And we're going to hit another Greg. And we get more turn meter. And we're going to hit another Greg. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. There's a Thor alt, takes out Spider-Man, stuns Symbiote, and uh, then Helen gets her special, and she puts the Disrupt on Carnage, uh, which isn't a big deal because I'm not really getting buffs for these guys. So the next thing I do is I'm just going to kill Hela. Right, so I do this uh, basic on him uh, to hit Hela, and unfortunately he chained to Thor instead of uh, Greg to get that bonus turn meter, but that's okay. So we killed the Hela, and now we're really close to killing Thor, which will help us uh, win this fight. Now, another thing here is um, Carnage had debuffs on him, so the more stuff you can kill when you're trying to get rid of debuffs, the better, because it increases your turn meter keep you rolling uh, and make sure that you drop those debuffs sooner rather than later uh, so for here we got slow still on these guys that's how long it's been you know I haven't done a symbiote ult in quite some time and these two guys are still sitting over here in the corner and they both still have the second turn of their uh, two turns slow so that's that's pretty amazing now I noticed that carnage is kind of low and I don't want to risk losing him right so what do we do we eat our snack packs that's what these little Gregs are. Look at that. He went from red to yellow health on that. Now we got our ult back. We can stun Heimdall, hit Loki, and then we'll just keep laying into him. So now Heimdall, Heimdall's just screwed. He's got all these bleeds on him. Uh, and actually the AoE from the Symbiote special kills him. And then we're just going to take out Loki here and it's easy cleanup. But that's this, this I thought was a really, really good fight of illustrating how Carnage and Symbiote can just absolutely own the Asgardians team. The trick is, though, you have to have tier 4s on uh, Carnage's passive, because that's what gives him so much turn meter and heal. Uh, it helps immensely. Uh, but you also have to have it on the uh, on on the Symbiote passive, too. That's really, really, really important. Um, Symbiote Spider-Man is one of those characters. He's just absolutely max every ability. Get him to tier 14. Do everything you can for him. He's, he's one of the best characters in the game. Uh, single, solo, whatever. You can throw him in almost any team on his own and he works great. Uh, he's particularly great at killing Asgardians when he's got his buddy Carnage. It's even easier when you have Venom because Venom has that ult that spreads uh, debuffs as well as puts on the heal blocks and it's AoE. So you just get Greg situated next to Hela and Thor or one of the other. Use Venom's ult so that they can't heal and then just keep killing him with splash damage. That, that works too. All right, let me show you one more method. So I just want to highlight this. Uh, one of my teammates just threw a, a team at this uh, uh, this this uh, Asgardians here. So it's a 557 Asgardians team, which is gig gigantic, right? Uh, there are like four of them are over 110K. <laughs> Heimdall's the lowest and he should be, right? They're all tier 14s. Um, but the fact is he used a, uh, he used a SAC team and the main thing there is it gets rid of the uh, Loki special and the Hela alt. So this changes up the turn order a little bit, um, but it makes it doable for symbiotes because the, uh, without Shuri, which I don't have Shuri available in this one, uh, it, it makes it a little bit easier because I don't have to worry about the um, the Hela alt and spreading the, dis the defense downs and all that at the beginning. So I opt for Spider-Man and Green Goblin as my... Uh, fourth and fifth characters on this team but it doesn't really matter because they aren't that important uh they're just there they they do a couple of things and that's about it
All right. So you can see it is the uh, security. So we start with defense down, and uh, we just want to go for Thor here. Even though he's 110k, uh, we could probably do something about it. Hela actually started with her basic there. She didn't use her disrupt because I guess it was used by the previous sack team. So that makes this a lot easier for me. Um, I just go ahead and hit the Thor here and just hope it chains around and does something. And then we'll use the alt here from Venom. But of course, uh, they or Hella resisted his uh, heal block, which kind of sucks. Spider-Man symbiote gets attacked with the uh, the stun from Thor, so that sucks. But the Carnage special with all those debuffs does so much damage, it just knocks that Thor off. Um, now I'm thinking, well, you know, we just we need to heal up, right? So killing Gregs is how you heal symbiotes, and that's what's so amazing about this team fighting as guardians and why it's so so awesome. Like my my symbiote's kind of low here, and uh, I should have probably gone for the double Gregs over there, but whatever, um, it's okay. So we'll go ahead and drop some uh, bleeds on everybody, get some heals back, get get a little bit of turn meter there. And you can see symbiotes in dangerously low. Uh, levels of hit points and he is crucial i can't lose him if i lose him i'm pretty well screwed uh so this is nice get the uh stun throw it on loki here trying to get rid of those those uh invisibilities the the stealths are what would make it so hard uh we'll go ahead and uh throw let's see yeah we'll go ahead and oh i didn't even kill that creek there but then that, that killed too get those little heals get that speed up and then uh we'll keep hitting them and hitting them all right, that hell is huge. Okay, so there's the Loki special. Now, I got lucky there because Venom attacked and flipped the uh, taunt into a bleed, so I don't have to worry about a taunt being on Carnage and getting him focus fired. Um, there's another kill on a Greg that helps with turn meter. Uh, we want to extend all these debuffs, even though uh, we still want to kill Loki. Uh, but extending all those debuffs is really important. Look at all those bleeds, and ability block, and everything. That'll, that'll screw her up for a while. Uh, but now I'm like, well, let's get rid of Loki. If, if she can't stealth, then I can just focus fire her. Kill it, Loki. Kill it, Greg. Get a little bit more turn meter from all that. Get a little bit more heals. And you can see Symbiote's right back up to full health. Uh, so now we got a heal block on, on uh, Carnage to work with, but that's not a big deal. He's got near full health and defense up, so he should be fine. And now we just need to work on Hela. If we can kill Hela, this is an easy, easy win. And you can see there... <laughs> Uh, Venom spread all those debuffs. Uh, I did not want to risk using the Carnage special here on like Hela because if you do that and you don't kill her, well then you've just you know removed all the debuffs so she could do whatever she wants on her next turn and that could be really problematic. Um, you can see there Carnage eating some more Gregs, getting lots more turn meter. All of the heals from Hela are for not because she has heal block and so uh, that just lets you kill as many Gregs as you want. And then you're good to go. And that's that's it. Um, so really the trick to winning this is having the tier 4s again on Carnage and Symbiote Spider-Man passives. Um, and then, you know, I would probably still tier 4 uh, the Carnage alt and basic at least. And then the Spider-Man Symbiote basic and special and alt. Uh, you should do all of his stuff really. Um, he is amazing. But... That's pretty much it. That's the idea. Use the Gregs to manipulate turn meter to get out of tricky situations. Use them to heal. Use them to control the turn meter of the fight. And it works so well. It's it's amazing. Like, I mean, you just watch them here. and They just dismantle everything. And uh, it's, it's really, really nice. Uh, works out really well. So that's it. Um, that was a big punch up there. Um, but that was with the sacrifice team. So if you get the sack team, if you don't have Shuri and uh, to help protect your symbiotes on the first attack, um, you probably should, you know, just go ahead and sack it. Uh, one more quick note on sacrifices. So you can see uh, my buddy Insider here did a uh, Wakanda sack, and you know, obviously they aren't going to survive too long, but they can, you know, take a few hits. Um, what I like to use for a sack team, especially against Asgardians, is the hand team. And just whatever hand guys you have. Uh, obviously, Sentry is probably on defense for something because of a smoke bomb. But the rest of them, you know, whatever ones you got, they all have innate evades. And um, Nobu has the revive chance, and he gives it to hand guys as well. So the trick is, if Hela uses her ult, and you got five hand characters, one of them's bound to dodge it and stay alive so that Sif can taunt, and you can get that off the board. Or uh, one of them's 
possibly going to revive and then you get another turn and that lets Sif go to taunt and then get rid of that and so the next guy coming in doesn't have to deal with uh, with the Loki special Hell ult or the Sif taunt and then usually uh, Thor's hammer throw comes next and that's some good damage but the problem there is then he starts with his ult and could stun some people so anyway it's just an idea but I like using hand team just because they tend to get a little bit further in the fight uh, those characters with you know revives and evades can be really useful for that but uh, that's that's kind of it in a nutshell. How do you do uh, symbiotes versus Asgardians? Uh, you kill lots and lots and lots of Gregs and eat them alive. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.